Where's Skylar? Miss Sinclair is away on business. She sends her warmest regards. Right then. I don't like you, and I trust you even less. I'm only here because of what you said about Jules. If this is one of your tricks, we're about to find out just how blue that blood of yours is. I must confess I find your candor most refreshing, Mr. Devlin. In my line of work, honesty is the rarest of vices. Secrets are the currency of my profession. Your friend Jules was killed to protect a rather important secret. Did you know that? Dierker thought we were working for you. Perhaps, but Jules had to die in any case. He had seen too much, as did you. The Doppelseek factory. What's really going on up there? Are you familiar with the concept of atomic fission? Uh, I've never been one for poofy cocktails. I'm sure the barman will be relieved. But it's beside the point. Your friend Jules was killed to protect the secrecy of certain enemy plans. Plans which are critical to the German war effort. I intend to shatter those plans and to destroy the men behind them. How about it, Mr. Devlin? Up for another game? Aye. What'll it be this time? Miss Sinclair will return shortly to brief you on the next phase of the operation. If you can pull this one off, they'll give you the Victoria Cross. Who? Is that some sort of medal? The VC is my government's highest honor. Then I'll know what to wipe me arse with. Let's call it a case of scotch. Now you're talking. Cheers. Should have booked a hotel room. Ugh, naughty boy. I don't typically mix business and pleasure, but sometimes I can't help myself. For a moment there, I thought you were dead. Not quite. But the bastards get an A for effort. If this isn't a social call, what are we talking about? You're going to help us take a man from a train, then drive the train over a cliff. Sounds like fun. Ever blown up a bridge? Not yet, but I'm a fast learner. Who's the punter? Dr. Klaus Kessler. Chief engineer for the Nazi's secret atomic weapons program, codenamed Volhall. The secret that got Jules killed. You were practically on top of Kessler's lab when you were captured. Bloody bad luck. Poor Jules. Bad luck for the fucking Krauts. Join the Nazi party. So what exactly is this? Kidnapping? Defection. Dr. Kessler wants to switch sides. The Nazis will kill him before they let that happen. So you want the Krauts to think he's already dead? Spot on. When we destroy the train, the Nazis will assume Kessler has been assassinated. By the time they realize what really happened, Kessler will be in London, working for our side. 
downright devious. That's Bishop style. Our first order of business is to wire the bridge with demolition charges. I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Don't tell me you don't like to get bored. Where in the fuck were we? Oh, Christ. Where were we? I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Don't tell me you don't like to get dirty. You know better than that. I just like to see you work up a sweat. Ah, very nice. Thank you. You're lucky I borrowed this car. I'd say you're the lucky one. Charges under the bridge where the structure looks weak. And to trigger them? The last charge goes on the tracks. It'll set off the rest when the train hits it. Bleeding diabolical. I'll be right back. Some of these struts have seen better days.
One more on the tracks now. That's that. Wilcox is waiting for us at the train station. Let's get moving. Oh, Jesus. Trouble. You were saying? If Kessler is the crowd's golden goose, why risk sending him to France? He's here to convert the Paris Cyclotron for military use. They couldn't send somebody else? They did. The first engineer they sent died suddenly in his sleep. How'd you hear? I was lying next to him at the time. I thought you didn't mix business with pleasure. His pleasure. My business. So Bishop's got you turning tricks for him now? We're prepared to use any means necessary to stop the Nazis from acquiring an atomic bomb. I see. They handing out medals for that? Don't be an ass. Wilcox is just over there. Make your report. The train will be arriving shortly. The target's in a private car near the locomotive. And the radio transmitter? In the caboose. You'll need to sever communications once you're aboard. Shite. This is getting complicated. I'll be waiting to pick you up near the bridge. Whatever happens, make sure that train reaches the river. Sean, if anything goes wrong, if you can't get Kessler out, kill him. You tell Bishop to go and shite. I'll get your boy out, but I'll not be your damn trigger man. Now if you'll excuse me, I'll be trained to catch. Not much for the sneaky stuff anyway.
That's done it. Now to find the doctor. be Kessler's car. Kessler, you in there? <laughs> Hold tight. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> now for Kessler. There's no stopping us now. Nice place. Not sure about the neighbors, though. You Kessler. Bishop sent you. Are you working alone? I. I'm sorry to hear that. Dr. Kessler. Yeah. Got your passport? Yeah. Put it in his pocket. to go. No! no please! Don't!
Nicely done. Dr. Kessler, I presume? An honor to meet you. You've made a courageous decision. One day even your own country will thank you. I'm not doing this for my country. Or are yours. The crowds will be swarming all over this place. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, Sean, I'm afraid there's been a change of plans. What happened? Our flight home has been cancelled. We'll need to stash Kessler somewhere in the city. At least until we figure out a way to get him out of the country. I know a place. I'll drive. before the crowds realize our boy wasn't on that train. We estimate it will take the better part of a week to sift through the wreckage and identify the bodies. We'll be gone by then. I'm afraid that is impossible. I'm not going anywhere. I was out Maria. Excuse me? My daughter, General Eckhart, is holding her somewhere in Paris. He said he would let her go free once I had finished building his instruments of death. When he learns what has happened, he'll kill her. I'm sorry, Dr. Kessler. Your daughter was not part of the deal. I'll look into it once you're safely out of the country. This is not a negotiation. Without Maria, the deal is off. I will slit my own wrists before I build bombs for your government. Jesus, keep him. Right. Christ. What now? This is not a negotiation. Without Maria, the deal is off. I will slit my own wrists before I build bombs for your government. Jesus, keep your knickers on, Doc. If your girl is here, we'll find her. So where is it that we're headed? I'll give you a hint. How do you like your steak? <laughs> Bloody, of course. Are you asking me to dinner? You always did have awful timing. Maybe later. But first, we'll knock up a friend of mine. He can help us with Dr. Kessler. And your friend is a chef? I gather he fancies himself quite a Renaissance man. I can't speak for his cooking, but he does live in a slaughterhouse. You keep peculiar company, Devlin. Perhaps it's time you found a better class of friends. You know better than you bring strangers here. Friends. They need a place to lay low for a few days. This is not an hotel. Nor a brothel. Oh, feeling a touch homesick, are we, darling? Ah, an English aristocrat. 
Does your father know you are here, girl? I expect he's too busy buggering the chambermaids. We Sinclairs are always up for a bit of rough. I'll vouch for her. And where are you? I'd mind me manners. She's got friends. I'm not the sort you want to cross. What does that mean? Do I have to fucking spell it out for you? She's a British agent. Why have you come here? You rubbed the lamp, Monsieur Godin. And voila! Here I am to grant your heart's desires. You know who I am. <laughs> Of course. We know all about you. I've even read your awful books. My superiors in London are your biggest fans, Luke. They'd like to offer you their help. What kind of help? Oh, guns, medicine, radio equipment, whatever you require. In exchange for your cooperation in certain covert operations. Ah, please excuse my poor hospitality, Lady Sinclair. Come, join us for a glass of wine. It seems we have much to discuss. We should go see what's bothering Veronique. <laughs>